Two soldiers were killed by roadside bombs today in Afghanistan, bringing the death toll in June to 52, the worst month of the U.S.'s nine-year war so far. When soldiers go into war zones, they expect certain hazards on the battlefield, not necessarily on base. But that's where hundreds of soldiers say they were exposed to toxic fumes. And that is the focus of tonight's Weekend Journal, the controversy over base burn pits. Michelle Pierce is a fighter. She battled stomach cancer in 2008, and then doctors discovered another tumor in her lung. I literally just thought to myself, wow, you know, <laughs> I could die. Pierce, now in remission, was deployed to Iraq in 2006. She believes her cancer is connected to the months that she spent inhaling smoke from base burn pits. Does it get any easier? I don't, I don't know that it gets easier. <laughs> It's, Christopher it's Sweet a... blames his wife's leukemia on the burn pits that she was exposed to in Afghanistan. Diagnosed in September of 2008, Jessica Sweet died only five months later at the age of 30. 408, that's the time that's ingrained in my brain when you hear the time of death. 408, and that's your wife. The military authorized more than 100 burn pits in Iraq and Afghanistan. The largest were operated by private contractors, Halliburton and KBR, designed to burn everything from military equipment to medical supplies, batteries, and hazardous waste. Dr. Robert Miller is treating more than a dozen soldiers exposed to burn pit smoke. I don't think there's any doubt that the burn pits emit toxins. It's a solid waste burning. It's a practice that's essentially outlawed in the United States. Who's at fault here? The contractors. KBR. Sweet, Pierce, and nearly 400 military personnel are now part of a class action lawsuit against KBR, charging the company with negligence and illegally burning waste. Daily breathing and inhalation from the uh, burn pits. Over that Last November, former KBR employee Rick Lamberth told senators he would witnessed operators improperly throwing hazardous waste into burn pits. I was told to shut up, keep that to myself. KBR turned down our request for an interview, but said the military, not KBR, decides what method of waste disposal will be used, what items can be disposed, and it complied with all military directives. Why don't you see if it works? Congressman Tim Bishop pushed legislation to force the military to shut down many burn pits, but 40, including 11 KBR pits, are still in operation. I do not want to see these burn pits become the Agent Orange of, um, of the Iraq and Afghanistan wars. Despite this 2006 leaked internal Pentagon memo warning of chronic health concerns, the military maintains it needs time to study the smoke exposure effects. Michelle Pierce says she just wants answers. What did you know, these companies do to put my life at risk? Christopher Sweet believes the bottom line is his wife's death should have been prevented. If she wasn't exposed to the burn pits, I, I believe she'd be here today. Absolutely. The American Lung Association this week recommended an end to the burning of trash in open-air pits in war zones. Veterans Affairs has launched a study of the long-term health effects.